At this point in time as I'm making and uploading this video for you to watch, I am finally able to record and stream Counter-Strike. This was never a hardware issue on my end, but more of a valve issue, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm going to take you a trip down memory lane and explain why this game is not fun for me anymore. Oh, I legged him! No! I legged him! Fuck! Uh? I can somewhat find some closure knowing that I can put this game behind me and focus on something better than just Roblox, more like... Face it? <laughs> sure, the views won't be all there, but as long as I'm able to enjoy in what I make, then I can make more videos like this in the future. Oh, oh. I just poured it all over my... I'm not really a commentary type of channel, but I'll give it my best shot. If you watch this video from beginning to end, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, let's begin and take you back when I made my dumb moment videos. Mother love me long time, long time. Keep in mind this was when I got hooked on CBRO, and while not knowing Counter-Strike even existed, I remember how enjoyable and simple these times were. I remember how I used to play with my friends who I, was, who I still talk to and socialize with every day thanks to Skype and Discord. Damn! Exploiters or even hackers if, if you don't know what the term means. But during that time, it wasn't even a thought. You would know who was good and who was well... Dog. What the f- ah, Catch it. Yeah, he is. Attacking. <laughs> <He's still> <laughs> <laughs> Wanna know what else was, dog? My editing skills. They definitely did not hold well to time, and it looks absolutely horrible compared to how I edited the dumb moments that most of you know and love. Oh, oh. After understanding the basics of how FPS games work, it got easier and easier as I play, which is how I got decently good at playing the game. I would try to I would try to God damn it. I would try to critique myself or question myself, why did I do this instead of that, which got me motivated to get better as the game got more popular over the years. Dumb Moments was not only something unique that I made over time, but a journey as to how I evolved as a player in the Counter-Strike platform. Counter-Blocks Roblox Offensive, or CBRO, was later rehauled or revamped for the third or fourth time. What do you know? The game did in fact feel better and more stable. I remember how the devs at this time were at their peak. Looking back at it now, I never imagined how a simple rehaul like CBRO made such an impression to me that it spanned a load of memorable moments of not only how funny they were, but how well I adapted to these changes. <laughs> Some may frown upon seeing a spin-off Counter-Strike game on the Roblox platform, which is understandable, but it doesn't matter what game you play, it's rather ironic to criticize those that has no harm in enjoying something they find something fun. I finally learned that Counter-Strike existed. Thank Lord in heaven. I was never great or by any means a good player at the time, but that never stopped me from learning how the mechanics work and enjoying playing this game with my friends. We never really thought of becoming globals or, or even pros. It's just those moments that you don't see often that made me want to share them with all of you. One of the biggest things I can recall with these limited time events that the Rolf developers created during that point in time is just those small things that I regret not knowing how much of an impact these changes were until seeing what the current state of the game is in now. I wish that they made more or something similar to this that gives everyone a chance to not only earn skins or rewards but something to remember which they did but failed to recreate the same expectations after the revamped Counterblocks remaster. This event is bullshit. I do remember Counterblocks remaster or CBR for short being one of the best replicas of Counter-Strike on the Roblox platform for not only pushing the Roblox engine to its limits but showing that a lot was very possible. Skins, content updates, and so many more improved mechanics within the game, you couldn't ask for more until the Exploiter era boomed. Hey there folks, thank you for tuning in into the Counterblocks Exploit Olympics. I'm Anita Dick. And I'm Spencer. These versions, I, I mean players, are warming up in the casual Counterblocks servers, getting ready for the first annual Exploit Olympics. Here we have our first contestant today. It seems like uh, this person is still trying to figure out how the exploit works since this person only learned how to install the software in two minutes, but we'll get back to that sometime later. Here we have another player that seems like they already got their exploits down! That's right, Anita. It seems like the players in the casual servers are going to walk with this player, Anita. Whoa! Whoa! Damn! He's f***ing them up! 
Ladies and dick boys, welcome back to the Exploit Olympics. Here we have an exploiter on the DT side going 15 and 6 since round 10. It is now game point for the terrorists on round 12. The score is 4 to 7, leaving the counter terrorists at a 3 point disadvantage. Let's just hope that this exploiter can pull a miracle out of his tight hole. This was, or is, the most problematic issue with the game today. It's very difficult to enjoy a game knowing that someone else is trying to ruin it for you or someone else. Hopefully I make a video on it. I remember being very agitated and annoyed knowing that they have a mindset of a Karen when it comes to not playing the game it was intended and saying it's just Roblox or why play this when there's Counter-Strike while they are still killing you from their spawn. I can understand to some extent why they do it but most of them if not all do it because they can't get good at the game and they're, they're just doing it for the skins. Skins are a major reason why the game had a big player base. Somewhat does today, but it can be easily said for Counter-Strike. You have these virtual skins in CSGO that cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars because of how rare it is to obtain one. Trading was never my strongest suit. Not that I wasn't good at trading, I never saw the reason to trade since I don't enjoy my time being in a lobby full of greedy children begging for a free skin or knife. For those that don't know, yes, Counter-Blox has skins and you can purchase the in-game currency to buy crates called credits or earn them from winning a game. Back then there were some skins that are rare by today's standards but back then they were as common as a dust dune. They didn't hold any value. And to be fair, Roblox did give Roll the slap on the wrist because of the all trading issues, but that is still involved today and nothing is being done about it. If you don't know what all trading means, it's another term for alternative trading, meaning that you can trade virtual items for third party items like hat or faces on the Roblox platform, gift cards, or in this case, money. Not that I care about this game anyway. As time goes on for the dumb moments, I started hitting walls and held higher and higher expectations of myself when it came to fun clips, not knowing that it was one of the reasons why I didn't make a lot of counterblocks videos. I wasn't really a perfectionist, but it's what kept me motivated to do a bit more counterblocks content, and it did burn me out a lot every time I do try. It got so out of hand that other people decide to make their own dumb moment videos. I forgot that the clips I had for dumb moments came naturally to me, more than forcing them to happen, which made them fun and enjoyable to make, but now is it doesn't hold those same expectations like you guys usually would have for me. Now the game is in a state where it's very hard to trust players being either legit or an exploiter, and I don't blame anyone for that. Trading is what the game is all about now. There's no content updates or worth my time. There's no reason for me to keep playing this game anymore. <laughs> After I somewhat quit YouTube and CSGO altogether for a month at a time, I kept hearing my friends getting LE or LEM, and then that's when I decided, hey, what's the harm in it? It wasn't an easy process as I had to relearn almost every single thing I forgot from how long I haven't played CSGO seriously. And now my friends and I are global elites. Kinda. Even though we're playing face it and using matchmaking as a scrimmage tool when we want to work on our teamwork and coordination with one another, we were literally a win away from global so I'm going to just be happy that I got it then reminisce about it. I'm currently face it level 6 with barely 50 matches into the game but personally I'm still trying to improve myself to be a better team player which will take me some time. If you want to see that journey of me going from level 6 to level 10 then let me know in the comments. I still plan to make videos about it anyways but the words of encouragement might just help me and my friends know that you guys wouldn't mind witnessing it with us. Or just be the counterblocks warriors and ask for tips and tricks on how to play counterblocks, which I don't see why not, but hey, you never know. But yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I don't like playing counterblocks anymore. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.